It's the Do Dating Game. And here's the star of the show and your host, Mark Latender. Hi, I'm Mark Latender, and welcome to round three of the Do Dating Game, brought to you by Risk. Risk, when compliance matters. In this game, we'll use real-life examples of requirement, exemption, and training history data to determine due dates in the VTA Learning Management System. So get out your due date calculators now to play along at home. In our first scenario, the employee joined the company on June 1st, 2006 as a production technician. So we have a 6-1-2006 job title date. The course was added as a requirement to the production technician job title on December 1, 2017, so we have an effective date of 12-1-2017. The employee completed the course on October 15, 2017, so we have a training history date of 10-15-2017. The course needs to be done annually by all production technicians, so we have a frequency of 12. There is a 120-day grace period given for the requirement. So we'll go ahead and enter that grace period. On April 6, 2018, because of budget issues, it was decided that the training would not be offered in 2018, so all current production technicians were exempted from the course for one year. So I'm going to enter in an exemption date of 4-6-2019, the next time I want to start holding them accountable. And you can see the due date is now 4-6-2019. And you can see that the exemption expiration date is what caused the due date to appear as it does. Let's look at this on a timeline. The assignment date plus the grace period came out to 9-29-2006. The effective date was 12-1-2017. They did attend a course and their completion date plus the 12-month frequency comes to 10-15-2018. But with the exemption expiration date set to 4-6-2019, that is the calculated due date. Thanks for playing round three of the Do Dating Game. Tune in next time.